Mr. Speaker, what happened in Coots, Alberta is unprecedented. Conservatives are downplaying the severity of what is happening and are pretending that the threat is over. There was a plot to murder RCMP officers by dangerous extremists. Millions of dollars are still coming in from foreign sources to fund these hate groups. Order, order. I've got the volume as far up as I can, so I, I'm not hearing the question, so we're going to keep, uh, keep a, a, rel a relative roar when we're asking the question. Uh, the, the member for Edmonton Strathcona. Mr. Speaker, what happened in Coots, Alberta is unprecedented. And Conservatives in this House are downplaying the severity of what is happening and are pretending that the threat is over. There was a plot to murder RCMP officers by dangerous extremists. Millions of dollars are still coming in from foreign services sources to fund these hate groups. When will the government bring forward legislation to halt all— The, honor the Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, I, I do uh, share the concerns of my honourable colleague around the severity of the charges that were laid in Coots, including conspiracy to commit murder. Of course, Mr. Speaker, honourable colleagues will, will recognize that it would be inappropriate for us to comment on ongoing matters which are now before the courts. But I also share her concern around the rhetoric and extremism which we have seen not only in Alberta but right across the country, which has motivated some of the individuals, Mr. Speaker. We need to be vigilant about that. We need to be sure that we deal with those threats, Mr. Speaker. That's one of the reasons why the Emergencies Act is there to help protect the health and safety of Canadians. Thank you.